Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 3 as we continue playing in an effort to unite Scotland under the Stuarts. Uh, it is 989 AD. If you have not seen the series up to this point, there is a link in the description that will take you back to the beginning so you can f refresh your memory as to what has happened to this point or you can introduce yourself to it for the first time. A guild of stonemasons has established itself in the more meridum of Strathairn. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. Yeah, but how much will it cost me? That's the problem. Um, I'm going to say no for now. I'm trying to get up to 500 gold so that I can... Um, I still have one realm that I control that has not been feudalized. Uh, so we need to feudalize Dunkeld so we can start making an income there. Right now we don't make anything uh, because it is still tribal. So my son Christopher has come of age. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've played this. I was out of town all last week at uh, the Antietam Battlefield making content for the other channels. So um, Christopher's 16. He is um, betrothed and now he can actually get married. Uh, to Beatrice. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So now we can start having some grandchildren. He is my only child, so we have to be careful here because I do have a couple of sisters, but um, not a lot going on by the way of uh, heirs at this point. So we can borrow 300 gold uh, from a holy order. Uh, it'll cost us 50 piety, but we've got plenty of piety. Uh, so let's go ahead and write the inquiries. The Knights Templar are going to give us 300 gold, which is going to allow me now to feudalize Dunkeld. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we just click on it. We're not going to repay the loan quite yet. All right, here we go. Feudalize. It costs 500 to do that. But our income is significantly higher now. It's 4.7, which is way higher than it was. So we ought to be able to pay back the loan pretty quickly at that rate. A truce has ended with the King of Scotland, which means I can go to war with him again because he's got a very inferior army. We've got this territory right here, which is de jure a part of my duchy. Uh, so we're going to claim that. Uh, what I really, uh, I guess I can't, I don't have the prestige right now. What I really wish I could do is uh, claim the title of Scotland itself, but I just, I don't think that's something I have the ability to do right now. Uh, I could get a, no, he's not going to do it. So what do we need to do to convince the Pope to change his mind about this? I have sinful traits, the king has virtuous traits, the Pope's opinion of the king is pretty good, and then there's a base reluctant, reluctant, so there's just no way that's happening right now. My sister has given birth to a son who's a part of the Stuart dynasty. Abraham, that's a, a good Catholic name, it says. Uh, technically, it's a good Jewish name, but by way of Catholicism, I guess we get to claim it too. All right, we've built our prestige back up now. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see uh, what we can do. Let's declare war. Right, first, well, no. Looks like the king of Scotland has gotten himself an army. The situation has changed dramatically. Uh, probably not an army. He's probably got a powerful ally that he didn't have before. So uh, that is no longer an option for us where it was before. Uh, and I'm just kind of curious to know now if the Pope is any more likely to grant me that claim now nah, about the same got a decent amount of money so I'm gonna look at constructing some new holdings uh, we'll have to grant the holding to someone after construction that's fine we're gonna build a city in Fife and then we'll grant it to somebody I have all these artifacts that are getting low on durability and it's gonna cost me a lot to repair them um, this one grants some piety. It's got 20 years still. Not too worried about that one. This one's huge though. Look at the prestige, renown, and maintenance bonuses that it gives me. 
totally worth the 75. Um, actually, it's 38 to repair it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, prowess, night effectiveness. Not sure that one's really worth it at the moment. Now that my liege's war is over, it looks like he has basically no army at this point. So now is our opportunity to go ahead and declare war. So we're going to raise the army. We're going to raise it right here. Let's slow down time a little bit while we raise that army. I feel like this one should be pretty easy to handle. At least until he calls in a bunch of armies I didn't know he had. I'm not going to call any allies. I don't have any allies at the moment. Actually, thinking about that a little bit, I do have a granddaughter. Uh, but because they're not in my court, I can't do anything about betrothing her. So there's no ally to be made there. But we don't need to call any allies at the moment. Okay, we have captured the king by laying siege to his castle. So we can go ahead and enforce these demands. I've gained the contested county. My power continues to grow here in Albany. I am still, however, um, my liege is actually the king of Leon. Uh, so until I can get out from under that, I'm never going to be able to really establish myself. I am now the culture head of Gallic culture. Interesting. I also went ahead and uh, ransomed the queen who I had captured for 100 gold. So things are looking up. It is now 1001 AD. Duke Christopher II is 50 years old. Uh, my son is 25. Uh, let's take a look at the current situation with the House of Stuart. Of course, the house continues to grow. We've got a branch all the way over here. Distant cousins of mine. Um, it looks like they're in Orléans down in France. He's a marshal for the Duke down there. Oh, who was this? She was the Queen of France. Very cool. Don't remember that being a thing. Actually, my liege, King Andre, is actually a descendant of the House of Stuart. Look at that. That's awesome. I had no idea. Uh, going all the way back to uh, Infante Constantine McMary of France. Uh, and then from before that to Mary, you see right there, who I descend from. Very cool. It, it's kind of neat over time to see those connections happen. Uh, and of course, my grandchild is the first member of that generation in the house. There's Abraham, my nephew. I've got Marguerite over here. These are the kind of the closest members of the branch. I'll probably grant that new city holding to someone like maybe Bernard. All right, it's important for us to pay back our debt so let's go ahead and send in that 370 to pay off our loan we've got a nice income happening now 6.6 .6 is our monthly income i still hold more than i actually should so i've got to decide what i can pass off to someone else and we'll do that based on the income in this case sterling castle seems to be the holding i can most part with uh let's see I want to look for a member of my house. How about my nephew? That's a good place to start, I think. So, I think we'll grant Abraham. And that'll keep him happy for a while. We do need some new members of our council. No great marshals available at the moment. I just happen to think that, you know, in case I go to war, I've got to be really careful here. I'm looking at my knights. My player heir is one of my knights, and he's actually a really good one, but we've got to forbid him from being a knight. I uh, just can't take the chance that he dies with not having any other children right now. So um, we do have an available spot for a knight and no great ones at the moment, but I'm not going to worry about it too much unless we go to war. Can ask our head of faith for gold. We could trade some uh, 
opinion for some gold. Might as well go ahead and do that. We have a decent amount of gold now. We're making almost eight per month. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at ways that I can start upgrading some of my holdings to help for the future. Uh, crop fields are always a good way to get a nice bonus to taxes. Let's go to crop fields level two. It's going to cost 213 for that. Um, what else? What about over here? We have no holdings here at the moment. I'm always looking for income bonuses first because I feel like I've got a decent military. Uh, it's only going to cost 80 to add hill farms. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's a kingdom that holds some territory right here and then over here uh, with a vastly inferior army to my own. And because he is of a different faith, I can launch a holy war for this kingdom. Uh, my level of devotion is less than Paragon of Virtue, so um, that might actually hurt me. Oh, I actually can't do it because of that. Um, Alright, what can we do here? In fact, other rulers of his may join because of that, so I guess we've got to be careful of that after all. Um, what about for the duchy? Could I go after that? That I can. Now, it's a holy war, so other people might join his cause, but other people might join my cause for the same reason. So, we'll see. So, it's going to cost us some money, but we've got to send the army uh, to his nation to go after him. Uh, lay siege, hopefully end this thing quickly. Oh, I got ill. Send for the physician. I don't actually have a physician. Uh, do no more than what is necessary. I got even worse. Looks like I might die. That's less than an ideal situation. All right, we won the siege, but that was not enough to win the war. Uh, where else can we go here to take on some of his territory? Because there's not a lot else I can lay siege to, really. Does he have an army that's... No, he has no army over there. Looks like I am indeed dying, so uh, I'm not sure how this is going to affect things as I pass things on to my son, but we're probably about to find out. We're going to be in the middle of this siege when this happens. Not an uncommon thing to happen historically, to have people die. During war, Richard the Lionheart died uh, in battle, uh, laying siege to a castle, but it looks like I actually survived this one. I think Edward I of England was in the process of war with Scotland when he died. Oh man, just as I took this, he came back on me. So there's the enemy army. Let's go defeat him in battle. That should help, hopefully. Now we gotta go back and lay siege again. So the problem I'm facing at this point is I'm so far from home that I'm losing my army rapidly. Um, I'm going to have to disband. I may actually not be able to win this war just because of how far away he is. Oh boy, we got the notification. Crusades are now a thing. Uh, so, looks like somebody's suggesting... Oh, actually, a bunch of people signed a white piece with him. No, 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 I have not had enough. I've raised a new army. We're sending them over. My son has learned Arabic. That's quite fascinating. I'm not entirely sure what led to that. But that actually might come in handy if he has to go off into a crusade at some point. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Uh, I'll finance the crusade. I am in no position to actually send an army. Alright, so by taking the territory that I'm after, it looks like I was able to end this. So let's end the war. We've added some more territory. You can see now how powerful we are becoming. At some point, I would love to be able to claim the title of Scotland, but... We have a couple of problems with that. One is, of course, my continuing uh, fact that I have a liege uh, who's a king down in Spain. 
uh, who's a distant cousin of mine. That really throws things off. At some point, we're going to have to throw off those shackles. Uh, but let's go ahead and, I guess, uh, what do we got to do about this? We got to grant this to somebody else. Who can I grant this one to? I got a distant cousin somewhere, I'm sure, that I can grant this to. I can give it to my brother-in-law, and that way it would go to Abraham after that, maybe. I don't know. Man, I'm making a really nice income right now, 8.4, so we definitely want to reinvest wherever possible. Got a little bit of county control issue here that we need to deal with, so let's do that first. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our council and see what we want to get them doing. Let's work on county control. Let's also work on development in our various counties. See how long it'll take. 12 months, 7 months. So yeah, there's definitely some room for some development to take place. Looking at Fife now. Um, farm fields would be a nice addition. That's always an easy way to gain income. So let's start there. And then I think there's probably other places we can go to. How about Dunfermline? Um, nothing that will give us a big tax increase. But some small ones. Trade port would be good. Alright, looks like somebody wants to go to war with me over taxes. So I, I guess I need to look and see. Their military power is not that strong. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and rally the troops. Put this thing down. And put it down in a hurry. Yeah, you better run. Alright, that wasn't enough to put it down, but I'm not too worried. I forgot I had a holding down in France, and that's where the peasant uprising went. I couldn't figure out why the war wasn't over when I couldn't find anybody. That's why. So we got to send the army down to uh, deal with them down here in Vermandois. That won't be an issue. Well, and in the midst of the peasant uprising, it looks like I have died. Uh, what did I die of? I died of old age. An old man, he lived a long, fulfilling life. Duke Christopher ascends to the throne. Unable to tell a lie, many fear that his bluntness may not be fit for the delicate intricacies of politics. But that actually might be a good thing. That might help me with the Pope in terms of being able to um, get him on my side and things if I am so bold. Uh, let's see. So let's take a look at myself here. See what kind of person I am. I got that cross going on there. Nice epic beard going on. Uh, so I am diligent. I'm honest. I'm gregarious. I'm an adequate bargainer. I'm a drunkard. That's not ideal. And I'm contrite. So uh, these are gen generally good things. Um, but let's see how that puts me in terms of requesting a claim on the title of Alba for a second here. Let's take a look and see where that's at. Uh, it's still minus 71, mostly because of the king's opinion, or the pope's opinion of the current king. If it weren't for that, I think we might be able to pull it off. We've got to fill our council positions. I've also chosen a majesty focus in the diplomacy lifestyle. Uh, so that's a, a first time choosing that one, I think, uh, in this particular playthrough. Trying to assign our court positions. We've got some decent ones here. We are two above the domain limit, so that's a problem. Looks like I'm steward. Excellent. Okay, so uh, we can ransom this petty king uh, from the peasant revolt. So let's go ahead and do that. Who is this? My daughter. Oh, yeah, that. I don't have any sons. Oh, okay, so obviously it has to be a matrilineal match again in order to keep things going. Um, French? No, no, no. I don't know about that. 
Rizzo Carling Baden. He's German. Ideally, though, I think I'd go with some of all skills. This guy's 56. Ugh. Actually, that might not be a bad idea because he would die quickly and uh, would still pass things on. That's not a bad idea. This guy's even older. He's 65. My daughter would probably hate me, but it's not a bad idea. Look at that. 26 and learning. I like that. All right. Eh, uh, okay. Sorry, daughter. This is about passing on the traits as best we can. And then he'll die, and then I can marry her off to somebody else when the time comes. All right, this might be the time for an independence war. His army's smaller than mine, and he's a thousand in debt. Let's do it. It's going to cost me 500 prestige, which I don't have. Darn it. Okay. We need to get a little prestige first, but I'm, I'm concerned that in the meantime, uh, he might get out of debt and his situation might change. Um, so we need to do something to gain prestige. So let's hold a feast. It's going to cost us some money, which we have. So just like that, 150 prestige gained. Uh, didn't even take long for that to happen. So back to this situation. Uh, it's the same situation, so that's good. Independence War, now we can do this without a problem because of prestige. And we're going to have to go to war against our liege down here. So I guess the best place to raise the army is going to be a little bit closer to home. So let's go ahead and go to our military. Let's create a rally point here. And then raise the entire army there. The feast is still happening, but that's okay. Um, okay, we gained some more prestige, which we can use to call some allies to war. Um, my mother... Countess Eyed the Impaler. That's awesome. Awesome name, by the way. So we'll spend some prestige to call these these folks to war to help me out. And then we'll send the army to go after him. So I'm heading for Leon to lay siege, but uh, I'm concerned about the fact that his army is already headed for Scotland. So we're going to have to turn around because if for some reason he were to capture me, this thing would be over before it begins. Uh, now, with that in mind, I do have other children. I do have a son who's two, uh, who is now my heir. I've got three daughters, which is excellent news for alliances. So I really kind of wasted that first daughter, uh, not really even thinking about the fact that I actually had other children. So um, let's go ahead and look for alliance power. There's a duke here in Cantabria uh, that we can betroth my seven-year-old daughter to. That would be a, a strong alliance to have, especially right now. There we go. So we can gain him. Uh, it's going to cost me the prestige that I have left to call him. Actually, it's going to cost me more than I have, but that's okay. Uh, this is an important war for me to win. Uh, so if we can spread the wealth a little bit as far as the armies that we have out there, that'll be helpful. Uh, maybe my allied armies can go, go down to Leon and lay siege while I come up here to deal with his main army that has attacked me. We're going to have to Oh, we caught up to him. Excellent. Huge battle. Very important. The king is not with the army, so we're not going to be able to capture him. But at the very least, we're going to be able to destroy his army. Let's see how that all went. We lost 389 killed. Killed about the same amount, uh, but won a great victory. He's got some strong knights there. But no, he uh, the king is not among them. Cut up to the army of Leon yet again and uh, won another great victory. And that actually has driven it up to 78% now. 
Uh, so that's excellent news. We've pretty well destroyed him there. Killed 863. That army's basically wiped out at this point. Let's see if any of my allies have gone down to Leon itself. Oh, yeah, they have. Look at that army. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that an allied army of mine? I think it is. Oh, yeah, look at that. 6,400. He's only got 68 men. So I think once my allied forces have finished taking this fort, uh, we should have our independence. Let's see if that's what happens. Excellent. Independence is gained. So what does that mean for us moving forward is the question. I no longer have a liege. I am a petty king at this point. Uh, let's take a look. We can designate some guardians. We can do some ransoming. We got to do all of that stuff. We can ask our head of faith for gold. Yeah, let's do that. Let's disband the army. Um, now, how do we go about creating a kingdom is my next question. Uh, decisions. Let's take a look. Found a new kingdom. Um, we don't have all the requirements to do that. I need to hold three or more duchies, so that's not a thing. Um, however, now I'm looking at you, King of Alba. And I'm looking at... Oh, he's already considering a proposal from me? Oh, that was for the gold. Yeah, that's why. Maybe I shouldn't get something else from him right after I asked for gold. Yeah, we're not quite there. All right, we're going to wrap it up right there. Uh, I think that's a good stopping point. We're in a really strong position at this point. Uh, I'm certainly every bit as strong as the King of Alba. And that is our goal, is to eventually unite Strathclyde, Alba, and Albany as the Kingdom of Scotland. Uh, and then maybe think about Britannia down the road. But a long way to go. It's 1016. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.